A blog without an email marketing and email automation system is just a useless website. A blog needs to give you the ability for you to communicate with your subscribers, send them offers, respond to their emails, and basically keep in touch with them. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to set up email automation and email marketing on your blog. All right, let's get started. So over here on my site, all I have is just a basic blog here. So the first thing you wanna do is to download a plugin called Fluent CRM. So I'm gonna come over here to my dashboard and then come over here to plugins, click on add new. Here, I'm going to search for Fluent CRM. So here it is, click install and activate. The next plugin we need to install is called Fluent SMTP. Come over here again, click on add new, search for Fluent SMTP, and here it is, and then activate. So the final plugin that I will be installing is called Fluent CRM Pro. This is where we get all the automation features. All right, so let's go ahead and add that. So I'm gonna come over here, upload, because I've already gone ahead and downloaded it. And by the way, if you want to purchase this, I have a link to that in the video description below. It also has a really good discount. All right, so now let me go ahead and click install now and then activate the plugin. So here you can see we have Fluent CRM, which was the free one. Then here we have Fluent CRM Pro and Fluent SMTP. All right, so that's great. The next step now is to go ahead and add my license key. So I'm gonna come over here to Fluent CRM, go to my settings. I'm gonna say note right now. Then I'm gonna come all the way up here to my settings and then look for my license key, which is right here at the bottom. Paste my license key and verify license. Okay, so my license now is activated. The next step now is to create my tags. This is very, very important. So I'm gonna come back over here to Fluent CRM, hover over contacts and click on tags. So I'm gonna say create tag. So this tag here is for anyone that downloads my freebie because that's how I'm going to be uh, building my email list. So now I'm gonna say create. Next, I'm gonna come over here now to my lists and I'm gonna create a brand new list and this is for my subscribers. And I'm also going to create another one for anyone that has downloaded my freebie. I'm gonna hit create. So the next step now is to connect Fluent CRM with my opt-in form. So what I'm gonna create is a brand new page. So I'm gonna come over here, click on page. Let's call this freebie. And then I'm gonna use the DV Builder. So for this, I'm gonna build from scratch and then add a single column. And the module I'm going to add is an email opt-in. So here in the description, I can just add my text like that. Now we may want to stylize this because this does not look uh, very exciting. So I'm just gonna snap this over to the left here. And further down, I want to exclude the last name. So I'm gonna come over here to fields. And then I'm gonna say no to show last name. Now it's time to customize my opt-in forms. So over here on the layout, I am going to add my text to the top and then everything else to the bottom, just like that. Now next, I'm gonna come over here to my text and just change this to my font. Uh, let's make this bold. Uh, I think it looks better bold. And we're also gonna center it. And let's increase the size a little bit so it really stands out. And then over here on the paragraph text as well, I'm gonna go in and make a few changes to this. Change my font here to Poppins. And I'm also going to uh, increase the size a little bit and center it. So I'm gonna click here and let's increase the size. Okay, so let's go with eight, no, maybe 17. All right, so that's looking great so far. Now we only have the background to change. So I'm gonna come over here to content, background, and I'm just gonna change the color here. Maybe that's a bit too much. Let's bring it down a little bit. Okay, so I'm gonna go with that and then save. Now, if you wanna make this a bit more stylish, you can add your product here. So let's say I have a two column like that. I can then add an image over here of uh, the actual product it is that you're downloading. So let's add an image module. So do I have any images? Yep. Okay, so let's use this image here. But if you want to change this around and have the form on the right side, I mean, it's up to you. If you, you can just click here on this gear icon and then just drag these columns just like that. So now you have more of the image and then less of uh, that. So the next step now is to connect our form to Fluent CRM. So I'm gonna click here again on my settings. So this time I'm gonna scroll all the way down here to email account and I'm going to choose my provider and it's Fluent CRM, which is right here. Next, I'm gonna say select list. Okay, let's hit add. So first of all, let's give this account name. So I'm gonna say this is the freebie, hit submit. Okay, now I can select a list 
And my email mailing list here is going to be this one here, list downloaded freebie, okay? It's very important, we do that. Now I'm gonna hit add and then save. So now I'm gonna save this and publish. So now back over here on my settings, I'm gonna come to Fluent CRM and go to my dashboard. So what we wanna do now is when someone signs up, we wanna give them a tag so that when we send our emails in the future, we can send our emails based on which tag our subscribers are on. So to do that, we're gonna come over here now to our automations, and then create new automation. So I'm just gonna call this uh, freebie automation. All right, so list applied. So this will run when someone gets added to the list. So I'm gonna select this and then click on continue. So now I'm gonna choose the list and my list here is downloaded freebie. Remember, next I'm gonna click on save settings. So here what we're saying is when someone gets added to that list after they've signed up, this is what's gonna trigger this automation. So the next step now is to click here on this plus button and this time I'm going to apply my tag and if I click on this drop down, here is my tag. It's called downloaded freebie. I'm gonna save that. Next, as soon as they've downloaded it, I want to send them an email. So I'm gonna come over here and say, send custom email. So let's say this one here says, thank you. So here's gonna be my text here. So basically all I'm saying here is thank you for downloading my, uh, downloading my freebie. Uh, here is more help. So I'm gonna add my link in here like that. And pretty much my email is good. And then over here for internal purposes, I can just call this thank you so that I know what it is and then save settings. So this is how email automation works. So they, uh, when they sign up, they get a tag and then here they get an, a thank you email automatically. So this could be an email where you are sending them to watch another video or you're sending them to try another product or it can just be a basic email to say, welcome to the, I mean, to the website. So this is very, very powerful. It happens behind the scenes. So now that we have this all set, all you have to do now is to set this to publish. So now my automation is working behind the scenes for me. Okay, so now that that's done, the next step now is to come over here to my email campaign so I can show you how you can send emails. So here we're gonna click and create our first campaign. So I'm gonna call this campaign one, create campaign. So there are several ways here to send your email or to build your email. We can also use the visual builder here, which comes with uh, drag and drop system, which is really, really good. I've also created a video about this and the video, I will link this in the video description. Okay, so let's say this is our email. You can add your logo here and your call to action and you're happy with that. Now we're gonna say continue. So for the email subject, I'm just gonna say watch my new video and then I'm gonna hit continue. So over here, this is where the tags really work. You can send your email based on what tag they have. So here you can see it says all lists. So I can actually choose a specific list here. So downloaded freebie, let's say that's the list I wanna to send to. I can select it here. And I can also choose the tag downloaded freebie. And if I needed to exclude anything, I can just come over here and exclude uh, whatever it is I need to exclude. So this is very powerful because now I can send my email to specific people who have logged into my website. All right, so let's say that's done. If you hit continue, this will send your emails out but this is not connected yet. So this is where now we need to come over here to our settings and go to Fluent SMTP. Because what it is, is Fluent CRM is, let's say the engine that processes and automates everything, but when it comes to sending your emails out, you now need Fluent SMTP with a different email service. So the service we're going to use here is called SendGrid. So here it is. You can sign up for free, and the really cool thing about this is, 100 emails per day, you can send for free forever, right? And it is pretty cheap. I mean, if you look at uh, sending 100,000 emails, you know, this is gonna cost you $19 per month. It's way cheaper than you would if you were using uh, services like MailChimp or even uh, ActiveCampaign. All right, so let's say you've signed up for this. The next step now is to get your API key. So you wanna come over here and create an API key and you can say full access, create new, so for the name here, I'm just gonna say Mac. And now my API key is created. So if I copy that, come back over here to my site, I can now choose SendGrid. So for my from email, let's say this is mac at mac.com. From name, Mac. 
And then here is where I can paste my API key and then save connection settings. So pretty much that's all I need to do. So I'm now ready. I'm just going to save. And now if I come back on my website here and uh, let's say I enter my name, then my email address, and then click on download. I get this message here. And then if I now go onto my site, let's go to our dashboard, Fluent CRM. Now we can see that we have someone that has been added and that is me. So if I scroll down here, I'll go to my contacts. Now I can see Mac at Mac now has subscribed. So this is how you set up email marketing automation on your blog. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments box below. But remember, Fluent CRM works with any page builder out there, even the Gutenberg editor. Until next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.